Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Journeys in the Stolen Lands. We're finishing up here at Monster Den, and I think there's a place on the map here called like Dwarven Ruins, and I'm not sure, I can't remember if it is the location that Harim wants to go to, and the Jubilast is looking for right here, or if that's a different one. I think I'm going to go at least investigate the area and see what we've got there in my jog my memory as to what that is and then depending on what we find there then we may head back to Tuskdale because I forgot we need to go talk to Jenna now Tig's mother the lost boy we need to talk to her in the tavern um, see if she has any more information to share with us we went and talked to the witch at Swamp Witch and she kind of suggested oh you need to pry that mother for more information so we're going to check this out here first and then go from there. Okay. This, Hesitation at least initially, waste of time. does not look like what I was waste. thinking it would be. We'll go ahead and at least make our way up here. Oh, okay. Bring Jubilos to the outpost. So, mm-hmm. We found the troll lair, apparently. Let's, let's see, man, don't really want to have to go get Jubilost, we might need to. Maybe it'd be a nice idea to bring Jubilost here, sight might lift his spirits. What was this? A cry for help, restart yours? Oh no, move faster. Oh, that was when we uh, picked up Jubilost, okay. We've located the troll lair, ready to destroy this bed of evil once and for all. I think we can go ahead and deal with the trolls and then we could get Jubilast to come back here. I can see my destination. We'll we'll hope at least that is a decent plan. I don't remember what we did last time. Orba. I do remember this guy. The troll who stands before you looks different from his kin. His pelt is cleaner, and his stench is almost bearable, unlike the other trolls. Noticing you, he turns and slowly steps toward you. Hail, Borba. The troll's voice is rough and gravelly. Welcome to Trollbold. He grins widely, revealing a row of long, rotten, and chipped teeth, but there's no menace in it. Who are you? Jason. The troll pounds his chest, making a hollow thud. I had different name before, now Jason, like Borba. Thrusts out his chest and a dribble of drool from his mouth promptly lands there. Me talk like Borba, wash myself like Borba, and no eat Borba. Me is like Borba myself. Trollbold? Ours capital, the troll exclaims, waving his hand toward the rock. Kingdom of both troll and kobold. We live there now in peace with Borba, ours land. Your common is impressive. Yes, the troll agrees. Tartuk speaks like that, taught me Borba language. Told I am smart. The troll proceeds to scratch his armpit, then sniff his fingers. What do you mean, Borba? You are Borba. The troll hesitates. Human, elf, dwarf, all Borba. All right, what do you want from me? The troll makes a strange growl. You are about to draw your weapons when it becomes evident that he was simply clearing his throat. I meet Borba and tell them. King Hargolka and King Kartuk ask that Borba stay away from Trollbold. It's filthy, not pretty, and dangerous. We invite Borba later when kings allow. Tell me more about Trollbold. First city for both Troll and Kobold will be kingdom. Troll and Kobold and Borba will do friendship. Troll no eat Borba anymore, and Borba no kill Troll and Kobold anymore. Peace. Who is Hargolka? King over all trolls. Strong, smart, kind. The troll stutters slightly and pauses for a moment. Made all trolls together. Made kingdom like Borba. Who is Tartuk? King over all kobolds. Strong, smart, kind. Troll chews on his tongue momentarily. Fire killed trolls before. Tartuk protects trolls from fire. So now trolls forever love Tartuk and his kobolds. How does Tartuk protect trolls from fire? Jason's eyes widen and, and he shifts back a bit. Draba Kurga, iron red and hot. Heat. Trolls scream and scream and scream. Gudunga Urga Borba Pain. 
Then quiet. No more pain. Fire, no danger anymore. Troll, no die from fire, no more. You understand, Borba? Troll, no more die at all. Fire is no death. Steel is no death. Tartuque made troll immortal. What else can you tell me about Trollbold? Many troll, many kobold. Live together. Learn Borba's speech. Paint walls. Tartuque protects trolls from fire. Jason's lips move silently, and he looks into the distance for a moment. Uh, plenty food, too. Plenty loot. Troll and kobold share. Jason looks you in the eyes. Many trolls, wild, eat Borba. They will stop soon. Peace will be. So trolls aren't eating people anymore? Me no eat Borba no more, Jason claims loud, proudly. King Hargulka and King Tartuk order so. Other trolls still eat Borba. They wild and dumb. Soon they stop. So what do you eat now? Horse, cow, dog. Dead Borba too sometimes. Long dead before Hogoka's order. No need to waste food. So you still eat human flesh. The troll stares at you for a moment. Me eat, he confesses, slumping a little. But me no kill Borba. Never again kill Borba. Are you sure you won't change your mind as soon as you run out of people in your larder? You might get hungry again. The troll's eyes flash. Borba no get it. Borba no food. Argolka said so. Borba try to get me angry on purpose. Jason's words become a growl, then he calms himself. Borba, friend. He nods, then goes silent. Okay, I'm, that's enough about food. Tell me more about Trollbold. First city for both Troll and Kobold will be Kingdom. Troll and Kobold and Borba will do friendship. Troll no eat Borba anymore, and Borba no kill Troll and Kobold anymore. Peace. Okay. Hmm. All right, take me to your kings, and we'll see if trolls can hold a civil conversation. I'm the king of the lands your trollbold stands on, and as such, your kings and I have much to discuss. Jason frowns and blinks slowly. King said no one can enter, but he never said humans have kings, too. What am I to do? Argoka hates when someone disobeys his orders, always punches troublemakers in the face. But if it all so complicated, if Borba ruler came, fine. Argolko's smart, he'll figure it all out. And face will heal. Follow me, king. You'll talk to Trollbold kings. Nice. I'm pretty sure we had to fight our way in here last time. That's his lunch. Good Borba. Okay. Made our way inside the troll lair. Sargolka. Got quite the ceremonial garb. That's right, okay. A howling crowd of trolls waits by the entrance of an ancient dwarven fortress. They growl, pound the stone floor with their fists and clubs, and spit curses at you. Each sound is magnified, hammering the walls like a drum. Despite this display, however, the trolls do not attack as if awaiting a command or permission. The troll stands at ease beside the base of a huge fractured Torag statue. He's not the biggest or scariest among the other trolls, but there's an odd supremacy in his moves and in his eyes. Okay, calm down for a minute here. Supremacy both over his kin and over you. The brand mark on his pelt is almost worn off. It pulses weakly in unison with his heartbeat. Why brought Borba? What your oh, orders? <laughs> Out my sight. Without a word, the troll punches Since Jason in the face. Blood spatters Welcome against the stone walls. King of what you hope to find here besides that, Borba. Okay, I was trying to talk at the same time as Hargolka. Without a word, the troll punches Jason in the face. Blood spat splatters against the stone walls and floor. Jason whimpers and runs away, blood dripping from around the hand he's pressed to his torn face. The troll leader turns to you. The glares of the other trolls drill into you, silent and hateful. I'm guessing you're Hargulka. You guess yourself? Or you have a hell? No, not yourself. King Hargulka gave your hint. Smart, Borba. 
So smart. So smart. I took the Kobold King and throws him off. Taught us to talk with Borba. Now Kobolds are smarter than Borba. Stronger than Borba. Better than Borba. What you say, Borba? What you say now? When throws are better than you. Um. Oh, we tried it. We, we have a chance. Acid can still kill you, so you're not truly immortal. Allow me to demonstrate. Throws can be killed with acid, true. But humans can be killed with acid. Fire, steel, wood, stone, or fist. Compared to humans, throws are immortal. Do not leave this place, dumb board, but should not have come. Algulka needs to prepare, though. Find Algulka later, if you can, stranger. Der Borba, der Garba Jarg! <laughs> Argolka pounds the Torag statue with his fist and leaps into the side hallway. Stand with me. Okay. Well, here we go. This, if I recall, this is a large area with multi-levels. So we may be here for a while. Got two trolls here to deal with at the moment. So you can and leopard right there. Let's send Alvar over this way. Maya, let's get some inspiration on. I think we are pretty well stocked up with camping supplies. We are in a little bit of trouble if we do have to leave here. Now there's, I think there's trolls like right outside the door. We're gonna have to fight our way out. Die, die, die. See, let's let Leopard get over there close first. Make sure we get the flank. Oh, we got the trip. Nice. Good job, Leopard. Your death Let's awaits. conserve our spell uses here if we can. Nice to kill this one really quick. Okay, Kane can get over there. Yes. Okay. Kane with that troll reaper is just insane. Really, just need to keep everybody else alive long enough for Pain to do the troll reaping. A solid plan. Let the attack commence. Let's get another trip, Leopard. I'll loot your corpse. It'd be nice, I wonder if there's, like, if there was a feat or something to uh, increase the chance for Leopard to get that trip. That comes in really handy. Alright. We're just about done here. Do not hold back. We could just real-time it, even. Kane, get in there. Okay. Troll's leader Hargolka has finally appeared. Let's get him. Alright, I kind of wish that we would have camped before entering the area because we're not full up on spell uses. Together we stand. Stay on your toes. Like she has used a few things. Never a dull moment. I guess we'll see how far we can get here. I do remember we're also on the hunt for 
the troll that Ekun was after. I think that he would prefer to be here with us. But we'll just have to uh, take care of this troll for him and then tell him all the gory details later. Sit back in gloves. Focus on the goal. Got a locked door here. Oh, maybe not. Do we have any blurs Everything left? Yeah, so we're down to one blur. Let's get that on Alvar. Oh yeah, these are like the troll kids. Varg, Borba here. Borba want kill daddy? Why kill daddy, Borba? The trolls who have just appeared seemingly from nowhere look small, though they are small only in comparison to a mature rock troll. Their height equals the height of a grown man. Borba want kill daddy. Borba garung. Borba bad. Want kill us too, Borba? Um, actually we do. There's no place for trolls in my lands. We will prevail. I'll split you in half. Very sorry to say, troll kids. We shall overcome. Hoping to focus this one down May I right see away. Entrails, please. The other one's gonna come in here angry. Oh. Both going at Kane. Uh, let's let's try to cleave. Oh, what a big whiff there. Stab their backs. I think we can real time this. Everybody just go at it. There we go. Uh oh. Dad's not going to be happy. This is Cargad. Okay. Hold person. Let's let's first let's see if we can glitter dust him. I don't like you. Send Alora over here. Try to color spray. That will save. Uh, Aim carefully. Looks like we still have a blessing. We don't need that at the moment. All right, Kane, let's get big hit in here. You've made your choice. Good. Ooh. This is Dang it. Unexpected. Die! 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 <laughs> Well, let's try the hold person. We got it. We should have done that the first time, probably. Kane might still be with us. I think Bruin can get him back up. Let's try the blinding ray. I do want to make sure Kane. Oh, it would be nice to get a hit on him here, though. 
don't want him to like to get the troll's attention on Alvar or Anna. We can down here. Let the attack oh. commence. Here we go, leopard. Let's see, actually, like grease here could be helpful. I'll split you in half. I don't think Cargad's immune to fire. Let's get another heal on Bane. Alright, do we just get him in here? So it comes to this! He's still held. Oh, that is that's really nice. May I see your entrails, please? We might kill him before it comes back around to his turn. Leopard might do it. Attack! Nice. Okay. All right. Tell Ekun about our victory. The troll utters a hoarse sound and falls thunderously. Dark, sticky blood oozes from his wounds. He tries to raise his hands to defend himself, but is able only to clench his fists. He snaps his jaws in one last effort to devour you. Suddenly, he goes still. This belt. Physical might plus two. Strength and constitution. He's got bonuses of strength, dexterity, and constitution. Already. That would be an upgrade for her. Got some mushrooms over here. We got a stew cooking here. Wonder what this was. It'd be better to not ascertain what or whom the stew is made of. I can see my destination. We have a door here. Got a horse there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Without a doubt. I spy. What do I spy? Got some camping supplies on the nature of the divine. All right. Can we interact with this thing? Dying dwarf. Yeah. See a pile of mutilated bodies reaching nearly to the ceiling. The bodies used to be humans, dwarves, cows, sheep, and gods know what else. Some corpses look fresh, others have already started to decompose, filling the passage with a heavy, sickening stench. The trolls probably used this corner as a meat storage. You're ready to pass by, but suddenly you notice some weak movement near the edge of the pile. Having a closer look, you understand one of the corpses is not exactly a corpse, yet. A bare-chested dwarf moves his lips silently, staring blindly at the ceiling. His chest has some bite marks left by a huge jaw, and he has no legs. They seem to have been bitten off at the knees. Examine the dying dwarf. The dwarf definitely looks like he will not make it. He has lost a lot of blood, and his horrible wounds would have killed any other person long ago. The fact that he still clings to life is either a miracle or his own unthinkable stubbornness. Um... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, we have no obligation to him. No need to get my hands dirty. Let's leave this place. You leave the dwarf alone, letting him meet his death in loneliness. Soon he stops moving, but you do not try to find out if he's dead or just unconscious. But Cain is... He is such an ass. Huh. The room is filled with a sick, sickening stench of carry-on. In here. I've spotted something. Nice. Dwarven key. 
There are many roads to success. Okay, let's let's try this door over here. This just lead back into the main chamber. Oh, it's another storage room. No secrets can escape my prying gaze. Nice. Okay. I can see my destination. Everybody's doing really well with the reflex saves on that grease. Robot artist. Focus on the goal. Now what? An odd kobold sits in front of the wall. His scales, snout, and especially hands are covered with something akin to a blend of tar and what seems to be rancid, mud-colored filth. Occasionally, the kobold plunges his hand into the clay pot nestled beside him, grabs a handful of paint, and slowly smears it on the wall. The unintelligible smears gradually resolve into a crude drawing of a huge kobold striking a heroic pose. There are many smaller figures around him, but you can't tell who they might be. The kobold continues with his strokes. He doesn't seem to have noticed you, or perhaps he's just too lost in his work. Ahem, can you hear me? The kobold continues in a strange state that seems to be somewhere between deep meditation and a trance. He raises his paint-smeared hands to the wall, makes a small and deliberate stroke, then steps back to examine his creation as a whole. Oh, jeez. Let's kill this one quickly and be on our way. This feels so mean. Cover me. Kane really just cannot stand having these filthy kobolds in his land. Burn, slice, the head. Poor guy. Just in here trying to paint. We interrupted it. Fatal interruption. Dirty paintbrush. I will guide. Okay, we got kobolds there. Ah, entertainment. to resort to brute force. It's real time it. Fight to be proud there. of. <laughs> Kane could kill them with one swing. Without a doubt. I appreciate privacy. As long as you got Individual kobolds coming at us. Oh, we got trolls here. All right. Yeah, we could draw them back in here. Maybe we might end up hamstringing ourselves trying to fight in this tiny corridor. Um, we could have leopard draw them back though. Our time has come. Get I do kind things. Of set up here. My Everyone way. counts on me. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. Mystic theology, arcane bombomancy, eldritch psyomancy. Okay, leopard. Let's go get him. <laughs> many other clever words. Got a couple branded and a. Regular troll. So leopard can survive. Okay, all right. 
can bring him back. Fire. All right, the blinding ray. This might be a nice little choke point here now for him. You can deal with them one at a time. No fear. Very nice. Okay, next. A solid plan. The other one can still reach through there, but. Let's see how about a thunder call in here? Let's see, fireball is not going to do anything. Your death awaits. I'll split you in half. Let the attack commence. I'm fairly confident we could just real time this. You've made your choice. Get him down to one. Oh, he's in uh, shaken now. Forwards. Ooh, when they do that, though, jeez, they could wipe us out with one turn. Leopard gets a kill. We don't have a hold person to use. Try the hypnotism. Maybe. That is so weird out there. There's just no feedback of any kind about that hypnotism spell. Whether it lands or corpse. not. Out of my way. <laughs> so it comes to this. Nice cane. I think we just don't Game worry about Anna. Just kill this thing. Kane's taking some hits. There we go. Okay. Our duty calls. We're definitely gonna be uh, needing to make camp. Hoping we could at least finish up this upper level. Pretty sure there's another level to this. I feel like this goes on for a while. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Get you healed up, can all right. Oh, leopard. I guess we can't heal him that way. I shall not fail. Okay, nice loot here. A couple healing scrolls. I can see my destination. Oh, is this where? Yeah, there's like a puzzle. Distinct click is audible from somewhere beneath the floor. We have to like range these the correct way. I, th I think there we find. Yeah, I think case. so. Like on the lower level, I think we find solution to that maybe all right so that's where it goes downstairs let's open this door the deed is done focus on the goal what's over there 
<laughs> I don't even want to know. Is that a, a trap? This task is beyond me. Uh. You want to try again? I do not believe this is possible. Oh. Okay, well, we, we need to keep working on Amaya's trickery. That. I spy. What do I spy? Okay, so this is back down in the main chamber. There's that the statue that they destroyed. Okay, so we're gonna go back down and around. I think we can go the other way in that main hall. I will not be trifled with. We're out of blurs. One displacement left. Displacement doesn't last very long. Let's hang on to that. Fireball. Oh, we got another one back here, too. Good. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Very nice. Leopard. Take that one. Maybe there'd be something to collect over here. Potion of heroism. You have to use that. Focus on the goal. Let's actually take a look here at um, Let's go ahead and throw that on Kane. Just see if we've got things that can get us through here a little bit longer before we make camp. A shield of faith. How long does that last? Minute per level, so we get like six minutes out of that. Anything else? Help us for a little while. Mage armor potion. Don't have a, whole, a lot of use for that, really, do we? Heck, Alora, throw that on. It gives her a little AC. Why not? Okay. We have a, a one haste scroll. Need to remember. What's behind door number seven? Scroll hound there. Maybe we want to draw this fight back into this there room a little bit. There are many roads to success. Oh, now what? Send Leopard in to get him. Okay, pull him this way. and let them move over this way first. Hopefully we can get Leopard back in here. Alright, Anna, move up there. Leopard might not survive this. We did. Good. Just barely. So you come over here, Bruin can maybe heal you up. He's gonna come right after Leopard now. We do have some healing. Let's 
smear them. Yeah. Stab their backs. Get him. Take care of this. Troll hound. Good. Leopard, you can get back in here. Ruin, let's do another heal on Leopard. I'll split you in half. We shall we'll let either Kane or Alora finish off the troll hound that's down. She could do a. Actually, she could. Come in here. Use a burning hands. Nice. Now Kane can get in here on the big guy. Burn! Slice! Uh, the head! Keep moving in here. Let's hope Amaya can get this trap. The deed is done. The deed is done. Back outdoors. There's like a oh, there's a chest out here. Not like a Have shortcut or anything. More camping supplies. I if that would actually be a decent place to camp. We should prepare. I don't think we need to camp yet, but when we do, maybe we'll see if actually does it let us. Oops. Friendship's overrated anyway. Can we place this out here? No, we can't. Oh, we can put it right there. I don't know. It looks like a relatively safe place to camp. We can't close the doors, though, can we? We we could fireball. Can we hit all three of these? We're not gonna. That actually is gonna hit all the troll hounds. It looks like. <laughs> Nice. As long as we've got it, let's use prayer. Ultimate way. So it comes to this. Let's see. Where's Anna? Leopard? Alright. Maybe we can get a trip. Hope that troll doesn't attack die, Leopard. Die, die, die. Let's see. Good try Grease. I don't know. Let's hit it with Thundercall. Maybe we can get a stun. Good, he's attacking Alvar. Don't think a burning arc is gonna jump between those two. Let's just shoot Cover up this me. guy. I guess they're just gonna stand back there. Attack! 
I don't like you! I'll just have to resort to brute force! Maximum nice efficiency! Can. Red for 80. That's so good. shouldn't have sent Anna in there alone. That was kind of dumb. Not sure what I was thinking of that. Alvar, get up here. Help your sister. Nice. Let the attack commence! If she moves up, I think she can reach with the thunder call then. Now, burning arc's gonna hit both of them. Okay. I haven't looked lately. I think we might be coming close to actually leveling up again. We're close to needing to camp, so I'm going to try to avoid Does using like, scrolls and stuff. Oh, no, Kane's not. I thought... Oh, okay, we yeah, he's already level 7. We've got... Folks... Besides Kane, about to hit level seven, so that's gonna be nice. We, that should happen probably while we're here in this troll there. What we have here. The deed is done. I feel like I hear like whis I whispers. Their key. I guess it's like maybe it's mice skittering around or something. I I like I hear whispering. We will fail. Wobbled over there. I think we can just put on real time. Go. I don't like that Leopard got out there in front. I don't need him taking the heat. Oh yeah, Can's just going to town in there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, we still got kobolds over here. Door to the outside again. There. I wish we could put like our camp site down right out here with the door closed. Another key. I can see my destination. It's just an empty hallway. So, yeah. Time to stretch me muscles. Let's go to town on these things. Those 
Jeez, we don't even have time to like see what's happening. Just kill him so quick. Okay, here's another one of those floor puzzle things. I think we're close to finishing up this top area, aren't we? Some maybe still something here, but Yeah, so we have to find I think it's in the, the level below. I think we can see there's something with these symbols. And then they're for the sun and moon. Or maybe there's a, a real there's something about sun and moon and the placement of those. To find that. Good there are many there. roads to success. Grundy. All right, let's be careful here. This girl has a name. I appreciate there was still a kobold somewhere that we like walked by. Where was that? Or did we kill it? Must have killed it. Make sure Alvar is in here. Okay, this is another entrance to the lower level. That's right, there's two entrances. I'm trying to get Alora to where she could use her last burning hands. Don't think this is gonna be close enough. Oh it is actually. We're gonna hit Alvar though. We'll get it next turn. Let's try the blinding ray again. We obviously came into this way overconfident after all these fights back here that were easy. We should maybe see if we can get her in there to heal Anna before that thing attacks. Do this. Let the attack commence. We need a trip or the grease to land or something. Thunder call. Can we get a stun? Somebody else is gonna die now. I don't know if we can get Kane back up. We do have one or a couple of critical heals. May I see your entrance, Big hit there from Anna. Does she have a potion to drink? And I don't think I can't stand yet. And I wish that grease would work on that. Let's one more thunder call. If we could get a stun, that'd be big. Heal Kane. Really need to get him back up. Burn. Anna. Uh, He's had a couple hits, but not there.
Yeah, I'm not sure we can afford to stand up yet. Maybe we have to chance it. I shall survive this ordeal. Now, let's banish him. Invisibility. Time for a clever approach. We can get him healed up. <laughs> Hypnotism. Yes. Okay. That gives us a little bit of breathing room here. Maybe get some hits in on him while he's laying down. Die, die, die. Get, just get Kane in here. Yes. Okay, we need one more big hit. Yeah, okay. Allure is crippled, but Amaya leveled up. Nice. Okay, let's loot the rest of this area and then we'll get Amaya leveled up. Oh, we picked up a shield. I think it's probably not going to be as good as the one we're using. I can using. see my destination. Every shield plus one. Yeah, it's not as good. All right, we're going to level up Amaya. Okay, nice. This is a really big level up for Amaya. She gets to use her performance now as a move action instead of a standard action. So she can like do that as well as like shoot on on the same turn. And then I debated between just another uh, extra performances for her thunder call and inspiration but decided to go ahead and take deft hands to give her a bonus on trickery because we're really we have trouble we're having trouble with locks and things still and traps so a little bit more for her there i think will be helpful and then for her spells we picked up level one sleep spell which is all enemies in a 10 foot burst but then we've got haste now and slow so we can speed ourselves up and slow down our enemies. That's going to be a big improvement. Okay. Well, I think, especially since she just leveled up, she's got some new things to learn, I think it would make sense to camp here uh, very soon, if not Everyone immediately. On me. I just want to see. I think we're basically done up here. Let's just see what we've got this room over here if we can get to it actually I don't think we even can because this is where Focus it's broken the the floor is broken out yeah can't even get down there so I think we've basically done what we can until I think we maybe this puzzle actually opens up the other area. I can't remember. We have to go to the lower level, though. But before we do that, we're going to have to recover. So. I need a moment to recover. Um, of course. We didn't trigger that trap. I guess we went up and around last time, didn't we? We never walked through there. Okay. I'm going to see if we can put our campsite out here on this balcony. Everybody's got a roll here. We can't cook here either. Why can't we cook? I mean, if we've got... We have a fire. We've got the ingredients. We should be able to cook. All right. Fingers crossed for no attacks. 
Okay, we didn't even heal up fully. But I guess that's all we can ask for at this point. All right. I was afraid we we're gonna trigger that again. So next time it's gonna be down here into the troll depths or whatever it's called. Other than this middle area up here, which I don't think we have a way to get to yet. We're done up here above. So I know we have at least at least one more level below this to go through. Lots more trolls to fight. Thanks for joining me here in the Stolen Lands. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.